To create a mesh model, you need to select on the Create Mesh Model option along the top toolbar. This will bring up the Create Mesh Model dialog box. From here, choose your scanning type, so in this situation we've used a handheld scanner, and then choose the level of detail that you need. It's important that at this stage that you understand the actual level of detail that you will need for the project, because adding additional detail where you don't need it can result in a very large file size and make the mesh not, not as usable downstream as, as you might hope. Uh, so for this workflow here, we're going to be doing a high detail because we're going to want to classify some assets, but we also want to create, um, we're also going to be creating a BIM model. If you're only planning on creating a BIM model from handheld data, for example, then low detail settings would be recommended. The same is true if you're using a tripod based laser scanner. If you're using a high quality data scanner, then very high detail meshes can be created, but ultimately these can be very large. And so it's important to pick the right settings for your goals. Once you've chosen your settings, press OK, and the software will automatically create a segmented mesh model. The meshing process happens in three stages. First, the software will assign points to tiles. This is usually the fastest stage. The second stage, converting tiles, is usually the longest stage. During this stage, the software is converting small tiles of point clouds into small tiles of meshes. The final stage, called creating super tiles, is assembling those small meshes back into a larger model. The number of super tiles being created depends on the size of the data and the level of detail that you've meshed to. Once the meshing process is finished, the mesh will be delivered into the mesh models folder within the scan group in the project explorer. For big models, you might find that multiple meshes are delivered for a single point cloud. These are what we call super tiles. And these are how point views deals with processing at scale. So before we go any further, let's take a look at what makes this point views mesh unique. So first of all, I'm going to right click to access some additional viewing tools and switch on the wireframe. As you can see, Point Fuse has produced a very efficient mesh with uh, big triangles representing the hundreds of points of the large flat surfaces. But where there's extra detail, like around the light fixtures, the triangulation becomes much smaller. You can also see lines in the mesh model. These are created by the tiles. As I mentioned previously, when Point Fuse is producing its mesh models, it's going to chop the point cloud up into tiles, convert them all, and then assemble them back together at the end. If I quickly hold control and select on a surface, the other unique factor is that this surface is separate to this surface, to this surface, to this surface, and that makes everything selectable. So we'll come on to classification in some more detail later. Finally, if I switch the wireframe off and use the, uh, use the option in this toolbar here to switch the RGB on, the software uses the RGB values of the points to colorize the point cloud. 